is really bright outside. I'm going to show you how the screen and everything looks now that we are inside. So when you hit the power button, it does take a couple of seconds to turn on. It says here 100%. So your DC and your AC are off. You don't need both of them on. You can turn just the AC if you're gonna use your AC plugs, just the DC if you're gonna use the DC plugs. So all you do is you just hit DC on and you'll hear it click and then AC on and you'll see that come on. And then you can see here the bars and it'll tell you the zero watts and how much you are using. I don't have anything plugged in so that's why everything's at zero, but that's how I could tell how much power was coming in. And then when you want to charge on solar or on the car, you just come into the settings menu and there's a DC input source. So it has to be on PV for photovoltaic or solar, or you switch over here to car and then you can charge it in your car. There's also the data tab. So if you want to go in and actually see your BMS information, you can see it in here. You can also see the voltage of each of the individual cells which is interesting if that's the kind of stuff you like. It does have faults. So if you run into any faults and you can see when I was trying to experiment with it yesterday, I ran into a few, it keeps your history here. And then you can also go into your fault history and see your date and time. It's a very easy to use touch screen. It's very responsive. It is a little hard to see when you're outside, but if you stick your face right up to it, you will be able to use it outside.